Hello everyone, how are you doing? Are you enjoying this heat wave that seems to come from the bowels of hell? I have a fan here on, uh, on my left and the AC is turned on and I'm sweating. I think that at some point I'm gonna buy a ticket for Antarctica. I wanna live in an igloo with, with penguins, really. I just can't stand it anymore. But anyway, in this video we're gonna analyze some online matches. We're gonna, in this video specifically, we're gonna focus on Yellow Ranks Dragonov players. Uh, we're gonna analyze the matches, we're gonna see what are the most important mistakes, uh, we'll try to fix them, and try to correct the overall game plan. Of course, I'm not gonna show you the names because I, I you know, for privacy reasons. Uh, but uh, let's jump in uh, one of these matches. Of course, I'll try to focus on legitimate uh, yellow rank players, so uh, I will not analyze matches of uh, people with, you know, playing with a secondary. So I'll try to focus on legitimate yellow rank players. Uh, so let's see what happens. So the first, the first thing that happens here, as you can see, the Dragonov player starts with up forward two. I hope that's a uh, misinput. I really hope because that is probably the worst option you can try to throw out at round start with Dragonov. Uh, up forward uh, two. Unfortunately, you can't reverse too much, but up forward two. It's a 30 frames uh, mid with some low crushing, but it's probably the worst option you can try to apply at round start. Uh, and the Kazuya player floated him out of that. And now we can see him scramble for a conversion. He doesn't get the bound. Uh, he tries to respond with a power. Good, good. I don't think that was intentional. Uh, but it was a good response. The Kazuya player here was trying to uh, do... Um, I don't. I don't remember the name of this string, but it's a. It, it was. It was trying to do the charge up punch, where it becomes a, a, a guard break if he does that. And him responding with a power crush is a good. Uh, it's a good idea, but I don't think it was intentional. Um, he knocks him down, and now that that as you can see is interesting because now that you knock down the opponent, the best thing you can do is just run in with a running two. So this is what uh, um, the Dragonov player should have tried to do. Something like this. Now I, I activated... Um, uh, wait, what's happening here? Uh, I activated the controls here. He should, have, he should have tried to do something like this. You know, uh, the Kazuya player is probably gonna stand up. But he didn't. Uh, he, didn't he did something different. He, 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 he did a dash into another power crush. Uh, he's spamming his power, power crushes a lot. Yeah. He's doing a lot of power crushes. That's basically the only thing he tried to do. Uh, and then... Oh, interesting. He does a, a snake edge. Uh, which is a pretty bad move, in my opinion, but it worked. Uh, he got a counter hit. But he doesn't get the conversion here, as you can see. He does down 3-4. Uh, uh, which is, I think that at this point, once you get to yellow ranks, you should start to uh, analyze, you should start to learn the bread and butter combos. Uh, here, I think it's pretty pretty easy. Um, I think you do something like this. Even if you don't want to do a sneak cancel, that, that is good enough. Something like this is good enough. Uh, I'm not going to do sneak cancels, of course, here, because... Uh, Probably the, this player is not able to do that, but yeah, you have uh, you have this, which is very easy to do. Something like this. Uh, but unfortunately, he does the down three four. Uh, he spikes him on the ground, back from three. Okay, he's doing something different. Uh, again, power crush. Um, uh, he didn't punish that, but uh, that's very complicated to do. Uh, it's launch punishable. This move is launch punch, but it's minus 19. Uh, but um, down for two won't connect here, for example. You need to do something like that. Or I think forward one plus two works. It's uh, because it's 17 frames. Yeah, something like this. It's a bit hard to react though. Uh, again, power crush, he's doing that a lot. Running two, he gets the... Da the um, the knockdown, but it doesn't follow up with uh, something like down two or stomp. But but down two is good enough. But anyway, he takes the round. I think with back two one, 
There is a trade here. Uh, they both try to do a job. Gets knocked down with down one. Uh, I don't know if, it if that was intentional. It was a misinput. He doesn't get um, the guaranteed follow-up here, though. With down two here. One, two, one. Good. He gets to counter it. Hmm. Okay, that, that that's good, though. Uh, he tried to do a, a grab afterwards. And that... No, that was a homing grab, so he tried to do a regular grab. He should try to do a, a, a command grab. Uh, they're very easy to do. Like, like You can just map the, um, the input on, on your controller or your arcade stick. They're not very complicated to do. It's like, you can just map them. The Kazuya ducks here and he punish, uh, punishes with back to one but uh, yeah it's back oh back one two no i think it's back one two uh yeah it's a it's a left it's a left job so it's back one two uh yeah it, it did pretty good uh, honestly i wasn't expecting that although he could he could have launched that okay he does the follow-up <clears throat> back one uh, interrupts Right? Okay. Yeah, he evaded the, the, um, the heat burst with back one. But he didn't finish the string though. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to it while standing, uh, while standing three. Okay, heat smash. And he gets the round. Alright. Oh, he got the whole thing, but he doesn't get the conversion. Okay, so th that is the uh, that's the first big flaw. Uh, it's uh, that the, of this player is the fact that he doesn't know the conversion. Like here, you can get something like this. Pop. Something like this. That would be insane damage. Um, so that that's the first big problem. Then again, uh, why would you do that? You, you get big plus frames into down 3 4. I think he doesn't understand the concept of 50 um, of 50s. He doesn't, I think he doesn't understand that. Because uh, he did a throw, and I don't know how he won, honestly. Uh, he did a throw. Uh, but uh, the, the Kazuya ducked the throw, but then he went with a low. So uh, it's weird because you can block both options by just ducking. It's not a mix-up. You're, you're basically responding with the same type of attack. Uh, that, that type of attack can be ducked. So um, overall, um, not a lot of... Uh, he doesn't know his combos. That's the first problem. He seems to not understand the concept of mix-up. Uh, when he has the plus frames, he tried to go with a throw, uh, but then he went with a... The, the, Kazuya ducked the throw, to be honest, but it's like he didn't he didn't use a mid. He should have tried to go with a mid, but instead he did down 3-4, which is a pretty bad option, considering it's not even a natural... Uh, it's not even a natural combo. Uh, so, doesn't understand mix-ups. And uh, key moves also. Is not using. He's uh, uh, not using running two too much. Down two. He's not using that too much. Um, not even something more simple like four four. Uh, that that is a cheap way to get plus frames. It's a twelve frame high high mid. The mid is plus five. So it's a it's a low level uh, string to get plus frames if you can't apply running two. Uh, the only kind mix-up that it's not really a mix-up it just used the uh, back to uh back to one he faked the the low sweep it's not even a sweep at this point it doesn't even launch in, in Tekken 8 but he faked the, the low sweep and then he went with um with um with the grab the only problem is that that uh, that mix-up is quasi guardable it's not going to happen at this level of play, but uh, a good player is going to fuzzy guard both options. And the way you do it, I th I'll try to show you this. Uh, I'll do it from, of course, from the perspective of um, Tazia. 
Um, wait. It's here, right? No. That's psychiatry. Wait. Like this. You see? You duck. And then, if the low doesn't come out, you just input your uh, your punish. If you input your punish, the grab is not gonna connect because you are you are the, the game will consider you uh, um, the game will consider you stand uh, in in a standing position. As soon as you hit your wall standing move, you are considered standing, not crouching, and uh, the that's a crouch go go uh, grab. It only works if you're considered in, in a crouch state. So you block the first two attacks, and then you duck, and if the low doesn't come out, you just input your punish and wait. Ah, ah, like this. Uh, so it's a, it's a bit it's fuzzy guardable, so you need to be careful with that. Okay, let's go with another player. Uh, this time the Dragon of player is playing against a Claudio. So let's see what happens here. Oh, he bursts immediately, but the Claudio... Yeah, the Claudio is pretty good. Um, I think he could be a smurfer. I think. That that sidestep at round start. Uh, I think this is a much higher... Uh, this, this is a, a strong player that uh, is either smurfing or he started to play Tekken 8 now. Because... Uh, I see a pretty sharp sidestep at round start. This doesn't happen in these ranks. And then he he whiff punishes immediately as soon as he whiffs the heat burst. So I think this 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 Dragon player is in a lot of trouble. Uh, he go with the combo. Seems seems pretty optimized. Heat burst. Okay, one plus two. I guess. He was expecting a retaliation, maybe. It worked. He goes with a low sweep, down two gets blocked, gets punished, gets clipped by the hop kick. Yeah, unfortunately, I think he doesn't have a lot of. Uh... Oh, he didn't. He didn't break the throw though. He punishes with a throw. Okay, that was a pretty bad uh, rage art, honestly. In my opinion, like in, you see this, this situation here, it goes with a Rage Art, but the thing is that even if that Rage Art connects, it's not gonna get the kill. It's not gonna get the kill. The Claudio player has just too much uh, life lead. So, in my opinion, you should only try to use a Rage Art if the opponent, like, if only if landing that Rage Art is game ending. So only if you can get the kill. If you know that your opponent has just too much, um, uh, too much HPs, just save the rage. Try to get, maybe try to to launch the opponent, and maybe do a, a big combo, and then you add a rage art uh, um, to increase the damage of the combo. But uh, oh, oh, in this case, it's just pointless. You're risking a lot. Uh, you're ris you're risking of getting um, punished. And even if it lands, the opponent is still going to be in a pretty good position. Uh, so unfortunately, the Claudio blocks them. Uh, the Rage Art punishes with a throw. Yeah, he does that 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 stupid thing that Claudio players do every time. That that projectile from mid range. Uh, eclipsed him with forward free free. That was pretty fortunate. He gets clipped on a, a hop kick, running two. Oh, he did back one. Okay, he gets he gets clipped by uh, the heat burst. Hmm. Again, uh, no concept of mix up. Like here, you have the advantage. Here, you're at plus six here. Instead of doing that sidestep uh, move. Which is like 20 frames, I think. Why not just... Oh, oh, he, okay, he ducked. So he, he was um, ready for the throw. Okay, he, he knows the matchup. Uh, but, you know, uh, a mid could have been uh, much, much better here. Back for free, maybe. But this is like... 
it's very slow uh, and it's not worth it. Uh, you should, if you if you want to use a mid, just use back for free. Um, but it connects for some reason. You get to counter it. Uh, he also gets, uh, yeah, he gets the um, the ultimate tackle. One plus two. He has the life lead now. Again, low sweep. Great, great power crush. He really, that was great timing on that power crush. 4-4, four, four, again. Uh, he didn't use the plus frames. He didn't use the plus frame. This is great. Like, if you're in low level and you need a cheap way to score some plus frames with Dragonaut, 4-4 four, four is really good. It's plus 5 and it's very fast. It's 12 frames. You can be floated in between the two attacks, but it's pretty good. Uh, but unfortunately, he doesn't use it the frame here. The frames here. He should have done something like this. 4-4 uh, into throw. Or even uh, full crouch 1-4. He doesn't know how to use his plus frames. Ah, he tried to do... Again. He tried to do his uh, sidestep move. But it, it, it's like... If you're... Um, if what you're trying to do is... Uh, getting the ultimate tackle... I think his, um, his strategy here... Is to get the ultimate tackle. He's doing this... So you can do... Uh, sidestep 2, 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 2, so into, into ultimate tackle. But if you're trying to do that with Dragonov, I mean, like, if you're trying to do that, why not just doing um, why not just doing back for 2, 1? You know, you can just do that. It's faster. You don't need to commit to a slow-ass 20 frames sidestep move. You just do this, pop, pop, and you have access to ultimate tackle. If you really need uh, this. If you really need the ultimate tackle. Yeah, he gets counter it. Uh, oh, the Claudio misses the combo. Ba -ba. One plus two. Uh, it beats the, um, the heat burst. Uses the heat smash. No, 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 no. He was waiting for that rage art. He was. He got baited. And again, like, even if that rage art connected, uh. Claudio would have been fine, you know? Uh, he has too, like, he has too much of a... The life lead is just way too big. Uh, there is nothing he could do uh, in that situation. It's like, that rage art was uh, pointless, and he and he got punished. But he's still alive, but I don't think that there's much he can do. He gets clipped by a... Uh, I think it's a standing four, or a standing three. I don't know. Round four. Fight. Three one, three one two. That's punishable. He punishes punishes that again. I I like I, I'm pretty sure that this is not a yellow rank player. This is a uh, he's definitely uh, higher than this, but he's either smurfing or he's playing on a secondary. No, not a secondary because his Tekken prowess is seventy um, nine um, k. Uh, he is either uh, smurfing or this is uh, the first time that he's uh, playing Tekken 8. Maybe he's a Tekken 7 veteran. Not not veteran, but he's a decent player in Tekken 7. And he only picked uh, Tekken 8, uh, picked up Tekken 8 now. 4-4 four, four again. He, he, he um, answers with a power crush. Uh, but uh, yeah, he should have tried to, to go with, uh, with a mix-up there. It's not floating him out of that, so uh, you should you should you should try to use that. You should try to use that uh, uh, heat smash. It connects uh, low sweep. Not a great option in that situation. Maybe um, maybe a hatchet kick would have been better, but whatever. One to one doesn't get punished. He responds with a heat burst. Again, he tries to use regular grabs. He should try to use uh, command throws. Again, he, he doesn't know the key attacks of Dragonov. Jesus, that that Superman punch. No, dude. No, he was waiting for that. He was absolutely waiting for that rage art. Again, uh, too many rage arts. I think that that, that is a big mistake. Uh, 
uh, he didn't land a single launcher, so I don't know if he knows his combos, but for sure, um, too many rage arts. The timing is, was also pretty pretty bad. Uh, he does not know how to use his plus frames. Uh, no concept of mix-ups, uh, which is really important, especially in Tekken 8. And uh, yeah, uh, the key moves as well. He doesn't know what are the key attacks uh, with Dragunov. Uh, if you're trying to get an ultimate tackle, the, the best option is just back forward to 1 plus 2 instead of uh, sidestep side step 2, which is a pretty bad string, in my opinion. I think we're gonna react to the last match and then I'm gonna end the video. Uh, in this match, uh, this Dragunov player is playing against a Lars. Oh, he is a promotion match as well. And he's a special styled user. I think that... As soon as you get to yellow ranks, you should really retire that. Uh, it's really, really bad. Uh, all of the, all of these moves, you can just do them by learning the, the appropriate command. Uh, what was that? Uh, okay, the Lars breaks the throw. I think that was a mis an accident, to be honest. Yeah, I was mashing. Uh, while standing too, he does the auto combo. Pretty shitty combo, honestly. Um, no, unfortunately, I can't deactivate special style here, so I can't show you the combo. But um, yeah, you could do way better than that. A hatchet kick now for two. Uh, okay, the the Lars does a uh, rage art. Uh, it's not it's not going to be enough though to win the dragon still has a chance let's see what he does some neutral some neutral uh, though uh, you see there you see yeah yeah some neutral you see and then he does running too but he, he, he can do that by pressing a button yeah he gets clipped by the orbital. Uh, monkey, monkey flip into into throw. But again, the biggest problem is the special style. Not 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 being able to access to your entire toolkit. It's uh, it's it's a huge problem. It's a huge problem. You're not gonna get far with the uh, special style. Uh, he tries to go with down for two. I don't think he was expecting a duck. I think he just, you know, I don't know. I think he just did that, uh, hoping that it would connect. Again. Boom, boom. Down two. Yeah, the biggest problem of this player is that he, he should uh, retire a special style. Uh, he has some fundamentals. Uh, fundamentals. Like he has a little bit of neutral. He's not a terrible player, but uh, the special style is uh, really, it's really bad. Gets clipped by the um, lightning screw again. You know, you know how many da like the damage is so underwhelming. Yeah, here. No, like it, it, it would have been impossible to get the kill here, but uh, like. I think at least, like, yeah, at least I think he could have, um, he could have forced him into rage here with a good combo, no execution, uh, if he didn't have special style. Uh, but unfortunately, he does a really, really terrible combo, which is the uh, special style the default combo into rage art. He could have done way more than that, but unfortunately, he loses the round uh, to Monkey Flip into Pro. Again, he backs us away. Uh, that's good, you know. Uh, he uses a 1 plus 2. Oh, he tries to go with a down for 2, but he got, uh, he got interrupted. But again, you will never learn the game by doing this. 2 1, 4 4 3. But it's just using special style. 
Like, you don't understand... Uh, the thing about special style is that you don't understand when... Like, you just you just press buttons. Oh, he, he removed special style. Uh, it, the thing is that you need to understand when and why you want to use a specific move. If you have special style, you're just gonna do the move because it's mapped on the controller, but you don't you don't learn exactly uh, when that move should be applied. So uh, that is the biggest problem. Is that he does he does these moves like forward three one plus two, but he doesn't understand uh, he doesn't understand like the, the correct timing to use that move. He's just doing it because it's mapped on the controller. Or for three, for example. It's a homing mid, it's a homing high uh, that is used to track the opponent's sidestep. But in that situation, they, there was no reason to throw that move. Uh, this these Lars player is definitely not, not sidestepping at all. Uh, but again, I think he takes this, uh, this round, right? He, uh, he removes the, the special style. Yeah. Uh, down 4 4 connects on counter it. Uh, it does rage arc. I think he blocks that. He punishes with 1 1. Uh, you can punish with um, a down for 2 there. And he does another combo. Back for 3. Or a, um, a throw would also work. <laughs> no, again, special style. Uh, he breaks a throw. Uh, good, good. I, I, It doesn't look like he was trying. He was mashing there. Because he didn't get the counter it. But I guess it was legitimate. The Lars there is, is mashing. You see, he got counter it. And he, he broke the throw anyway. 2 1, forward 3, 1 plus 2. Connects, down for 2. Yeah, but if you don't do something to force him to duck, the down for 2 will never connect. Uh, and that is that the problem. He doesn't understand the concept of uh, mix up. Here. He's doing the down for two every time, but you're not doing anything to uh, force him to duck a little bit. Um, wait. That side. Something like this. You're, you're not uh, doing anything to scare him uh, and to duck a little bit. So he has no reason to... to he has no reason to duck the, the, the mid. So the down for two doesn't connect. So again, he, he doesn't know the concept of mix-ups. Power crush. Down two. He closes the the, the match with uh, down two. Okay, he won and he got his promo. Uh, but uh, again, uh, biggest uh, issues. Uh, big, biggest issues that he's using uh, um, special style. With special style, you don't learn uh, the timing for your attacks. You don't learn the um, what are what is the purpose of every single move. You just do it because it's mapped on your uh, controller. Uh, you lose a, a, a crap ton of uh, combo damage. Uh, it's just terrible. Don't don't use it. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and take care.